Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss what is a comment, what are the advantages of writing the comments, and then I will discuss about single line comments, multi-line comments, and documentation in detail. So I sincerely request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me discuss what is a comment. In a program, you have written some description. That description, you don't want to get it in as an output. Is it clear? Suppose let's take that in a program you have written this line of code or this statement I have written to execute recursion, something you have written. Okay, whatever the description you have written here, that description should not be displayed in the output. So why you are writing such description? To understand the program, meaning is that Let's take that you are working in a company. Let's take that in a company X, you are working under a team called A. In your team, three members are there, one, two, three. So each team member will be given certain task to complete the task called whatever it is for under company X. Is it clear? Now let's take that you have written a program consists of 100 lines and you have given this program to the one of your team member. The team member should be in a position to understand whatever the code you have written. Suppose let's take that from 2 to 10 lines, you have written some complex code. Then your team member should understand why you have written. So if you write the description, these lines of code, these lines of code I have written to compute the length of the string or to, fact, to find the factorial of a given number or to verify a given number is prime number or not. To reverse a given string like something if you write then they will understand okay this line of course is useful for this task okay so the comments will be useful for understanding okay or let's take that you have written the some java program five years before now if you read it you should be in a position to understand why you have written this program Okay, all these things will be useful if you give the comments and remember one thing the comments will be ignored by the compiler when you convert the the Java file to the byte code the comments will be ignored by the compiler. So the comments will never displayed in an output. Okay, so the first advantage is to understand the program. It will improve the understandability of the program. And the next thing is that suppose let's take that from 11 to 15 lines or any line you don't want to execute currently okay you are debugging the program you are understanding what is actually happening and however you don't want to execute the line number 11 to line number 15 currently but you don't want to delete it if you delete it again you need to type it so you want to pause these statements execution for the current time then also you can use the comments. So comments can be used for two purposes. One is to understand the program for others. And another thing is that if you want to pass any statement for currently running, then also you can make those statements as a comments. Okay. Now we will discuss about the single line comments. If you just want to write a single line, okay, then you can use the single line comments or a particular Suppose let's take that line number one itself you want to comment. There also you can use the single line comments. So single line comments will be represented like this. Okay, you need to use the two slash and then whatever the comment you want to write, you can write it. Is it clear? This is single line comment. Okay, let me write in a single line only. I hope it is visible for you. Okay. So this is single line comment. Once the compiler recognizes these two backslash, then it will understand that this is a comment. It will ignore converting this one to the byte code. Is it clear? So this is what the single line comment. And multi line comments. Suppose you want to comment multiple lines. In a single line, you cannot able to write the entire comment. Or if you want to pause this execution of line number 11 to line number 15 then also you can use the multi-line comments then some people can ask me sir multi-line comments i can make it as a multiple single line comments that is also absolutely fine 
what their point is that sir i have written comment one okay i have written comment two i have written comment three so this is three lines of comments so i will make all three as a single line comments then in that case people will ask me why we need the multi line comments yeah i agree with you is it clear some programming language does not support the multi line comments the example is the python in python we will use the only single line comments but java supports the multi line comments you can even make the multi line as multiple single lines or for simply you can simply write like this slash star you can write the multiple line comments at the end you can end like this is it clear star slash so this is the purpose of multi line comments so whatever you are writing in this between them the compiler will ignore okay now let me discuss about the documentation the documentation will be useful for you to understand what is the program means why you have written this 100 lines of program you can write somewhere this program is useful for you to find the factorial of a given number or display the prime numbers from 1 to 1000 or to verify a given number is armstrong number whatever what is the purpose of this program that you need to write somewhere then people can directly understand what is the purpose of the entire program is it clear the purpose of a single line you can write it in the comment okay but if you want to write the purpose of the entire program or you want to give the instructions is it clear how you need to execute this program all these instructions or anything or who is the author when you have written all these things you can provide in the documentation is it clear usually the documentation will be written at the starting after the completing of the documentation the the users will write their program so how can we write the documentation the documentation can be written like this let me erase this content so that i can write here it will be slash two stars and then you can write the documentation like documentation statement 1 okay documentation statement 2 you can write it in multi lines also document statement 2 so on whatever you want to write you can write however it will end with star and slash don't confuse as it is starting with slash two stars it should end with two star slash it will only end with star and then slash so this is the way you will write the documentation so i hope you have understood what is a comment what is the need for a comments and how the single line comments multi line comments and documentation will be represented now for better understanding i will write a simple program and discuss the single line comments and multi line comments now let me write the program for you before writing the program i want to write the documentation so how i will write the documentation i will write slash two stars i will write this program this program is useful is useful to print hello world to print hello world this program is written to understand single line to understand comments let me write simply to understand comments this is what i have written and i have end with star slash i hope it is visible for you okay is it clear so this is the documentation i have done and remember one thing documentation is not compulsory and comments are also not compulsory just comments will help you to understand the program for others it is very good practice to add the comments okay now let me write a simple program class okay class name let me write it as first or comments whatever you want to write you can write class first okay then what you need to write you need to write public where p should be small public static void main okay and then string where s should be capital string args then you will have an array and this one 
and let's take that you want to print hello world okay yes should be capital in system okay system dot out dot print ln okay and then you want to print hello world this program already we have discussed in the last video okay let me close the class so this is the program to print the hello world okay now let me add the comments i want to represent the single line comment so what i will write here is that this is a class this is a class called first and even i want to write suppose let's take that i want to write the file name and the class name should be same all these things you can write here is it clear so this is we'll call it as a single line comments once you compile this program the compiler will ignore these comments now you want to write multi line comments okay due to space issue i'm not able to write let me write here okay the public keyword is useful is useful for representing the representing the access specifier representing the access specifier or modifier okay we have three access modifiers such as like me write something such as public protected and private something i have written so the people can understand why the public is written or what is the purpose of the public okay then i will end like this so if you execute this program these comments will be ignored by the compiler only you will get the output as hello world similarly you can write here also okay print ln is useful to print or useful to display something you want to write comment you can write here so this is the way you can represent the documentation single line comments and multi line comments i hope it is clear for you for better understanding let me execute this program i am in the desktop in the desktop there is a folder called java programs now i need to open the notepad app okay notepad app and then i will save this one as comments okay comments dot java i will save this one now you can see in java programs folder there is a comments file which is a java file so what i will do i will right click and edit with notepad plus plus now the comments dot java file has been successfully opened in the notepad plus plus so first what i will do i will do the documentation so documentation how we will do slash star star okay this java program is written to explain the comments and documentation okay something i have written here now i need to use the c if i does not close it there is an error is coming so i need to close it the doc so star slash now if i write c you can see class then comments and you can open this one now here i can write a single line comment okay this is a class okay so this is what it is a single line comment single line comment so single line comment you no need to close with anything then i will write here public static void main string args okay where s yes should be capital now here i will write before opening i will write what is the purpose of public what is the purpose of static what is the purpose of void main all these things okay so i will use the multi line comment so what i will write here is that here i will write public is a public is a access specifier we have three access 
specifiers or modifiers such as you can write whatever you can write such as here I will write such as public protected and private okay then I will write static is a keyword okay without creating objects object JVM can access the main method okay that is the purpose of static similarly void specifies the function does not return return any value okay then you can see uh, main main is a function now I will close this multi-line comments how can I close it start slash then I will open the main function and then I want to write system dot out dot print ln okay here I will write welcome to Pernica tutorials okay now here I want to add a single line so I will write slash system is a class out is a field and print ln is a method okay now I will close the main function and I will close the class now I will save this program okay then I will open the command prompt okay and then I will write CD desktop I need to go to the desktop CD Java programs now I am in the directory called Java programs in this one we have saved the file called comments.java so to compile it I have written a command called Java C now look at here there are no errors now let me execute this one Java comments now we got the output as welcome to Pernica tutorials we did not get any one of this documents or single line comments or multi line comments because the compiler will ignore them when it is compiling I hope you have understood about the documentation single line comments multi line comments if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day